Welcome to our video about mycetoma. Treatment for mycetoma, important questions you should ask. There are several important questions you should ask yourself before seeking medical treatment for mycetoma. These include, what is mycetoma? What are its symptoms, and how does it spread? Keep reading to learn all you can about this disease. Mycoses are fungi that infect human skin and can lead to the development of serious complications. The main goal of treatment for mycosis is to eradicate the infection. What is mycetoma? A fungus, Amphotericin B, is the most common cause of mycetoma. However, mycetoma is not an acute infection and can persist for months or years. If left untreated, mycetomas can lead to tissue damage, deformity, and even death. Fortunately, with the help of the right treatment, mycetomas are curable. Treatment for mycetoma can vary depending on the type of fungus and the extent of the disease. The initial symptoms of mycetoma are usually a small painless subcutaneous mass containing multiple sinuses. It can spread to deeper structures, including bone. In severe cases, mycetoma can become infected, causing loss of function or even death. Although mycetomas usually occur on the extremities, they can appear on any part of the body. Although mycetoma is not contagious, it may lead to amputation. Secondary bacterial infection may lead to additional pain, disability, and death. Mycetoma treatment options can include antibiotics, skin surgery, and molecular techniques. If the infection is resistant to antibiotics, amputation is often the only option. Treatment is difficult but successful in most cases. In rare cases, surgical amputation is required. Depending on the type of mycetoma and where it has spread, it may be curable. If it's an infected bone, it may be asymptomatic or have a slow onset. Mycetoma Symptoms Mycetoma is an infection caused by fungi that cause deep tissue disfiguration. The infection typically starts as a small, painful swelling and progresses over months or years. Mycetomas are not widespread and do not produce systemic symptoms like those seen in general infections. They usually start as small, painful, and hyperpigmented papules and develop into multiple, overlapping, firm nodules. Mycetomas have characteristic granular grains in the exudate. Treatment for mycetomas may be necessary for up to 10 years, depending on the causative agent and extent of the disease. Early detection is crucial for preventing long-term infection or amputation. Treatment options for mycetoma can range from non-invasive methods to surgery. If detected early, treatment options can vary, depending on how severe the disease is. If you have a severe or widespread infection, consult your doctor right away for the best treatment. Listed below are a few resources that you should consult with your doctor for more information. Mycetoma is most often found in people who work on agricultural projects. Men between 20 and 40 years of age are most commonly affected, and it usually results in an open wound on the skin. The signs of mycetoma vary from person to person but can be characterized by a variety of symptoms. However, the infection is most common on the feet, but can also affect the hands, elbows, and even the back. About mycetoma? If you're wondering whether you should worry about mycetoma, then you're in luck. The disease has been reported in most of the world's continents, including the United States, Europe, Southern Africa, the Far East, Australasia, and Antarctica. However, because it is endemic in many rural areas and because of its relatively small geographic distribution, it has rarely been studied. However, with the help of various online resources, you can find more information about this disease. The World Health Organization describes mycetoma as a chronic inflammatory disease caused by fungi or actinomycetes bacteria. It typically manifests as cystic tumefaction in the affected region and a characteristic grainy discharge. Mycetoma is caused by a fungal or bacterial infection that enters the body through a thorn prick or minor trauma. While no concrete studies have been conducted to establish how mycetoma is transmitted, the condition is often characterized by a variety of clinical signs. Mycetoma has a major medical and social impact in most subtropical and tropical regions. It has been added to the list of the world's neglected diseases by the WHO and is still one of the world's most prevalent, but underfunded diseases. This disease needs to be better known and monitored to combat its devastating effects. With greater recognition, control strategies and tools will be developed. 
WHO will continue to educate health ministers around the world and work towards its prevention and control. How Mycetoma Spread The first question to ask when examining a mycetoma patient is how this infectious disease spreads. The condition can be characterized by a firm, club-like mass beneath the skin. It can affect any part of the body, starting small and slowly progressing to become larger. It can even cause deformity by spreading to other areas of the body, such as bones and the spinal cord. If left untreated, the condition can spread to other parts of the body, degrading muscle and bone. The organisms responsible for causing mycetoma are taxonomically diverse. The most common cause of the condition is Nocardia brasiliensis. The disease can occur on both the hands and feet. In the Americas, the most common organism is Nocardia brasiliensis. A study in Mexico reported a total of 3,933 mycetomas, of which 97% were actinomycetoma and only 3.5% were eumycetomas. The incubation period for mycetoma is unknown because the duration of infection is not determinable. Infection is not contagious, but it is spread by manual activity. Males are more likely to contract the disease than females, although the predominance of males in mycetoma endemic areas is not related to the gender of the host. The disease typically affects young adults between 20 and 40 years old and is most common among farmers, herdsmen, and other outdoor workers. Mycetoma Diagnosis Mycetoma diagnosis is based on histopathologic findings, and a biopsy is usually performed to confirm a diagnosis. Treatment options for mycetoma range from antifungal medication to antibiotics. In severe cases, surgery may be necessary to remove infected tissue. In some cases, mycetoma can be prevented by wearing shoes and avoiding certain areas of the foot. MR imaging is crucial in the diagnosis of mycetoma, since this test can differentiate a mycetoma from a sarcoma or benign soft tissue lesion. Therefore, it is important to understand how to interpret the results of MRIs to help make the most accurate diagnosis. MRIs are particularly useful for determining the occurrence of mycetoma because they can aid in early diagnosis and follow-up. During an ultrasound examination, granuloma with granules may aid in ruling out differential diagnoses and distinguishing mycetoma from other forms. Ultrasound also helps identify mycetoma with a dot in a circle sign, which is a pattern of multiple hypoechoic lesions. Doppler ultrasound can be helpful in demonstrating how the lesions affect the vasculature. Mycetoma treatments. Mycetoma is an infection of the skin caused by fungi. The condition usually progresses slowly and gradually destroys contiguous tissues. Although the condition is a local infection, it can spread to other parts of the body and cause severe physical disabilities. Untreated, it can lead to social and emotional discrimination. Severe cases may lead to amputation or severe deformity. Generally, patients do not seek treatment until it has advanced to the point of surgery. Mycetoma treatments for different types of infection vary. Some infections respond to antibiotics alone, while others require a combination of antibiotics and antifungals. For example, actinomycetomas are treated with antibiotics, while spirotrichosis is treated with a mixture of antibiotics and antifungals. In addition, a skin biopsy may reveal typical mycetoma histopathology. Treatment for a mycetoma depends on whether the condition is caused by actinomycetes or filamentous fungi. Mycetoma is endemic to many tropical countries, with most cases occurring in Africa, Central, and South America, India, and the Far East. Patients are most likely to develop it when it occurs during a short rainy season with a temperature range of 30 to 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Early diagnosis and treatment are essential to preventing the spread of mycetoma and avoiding amputation or long-term infection. If detected early, a mycetoma treatment can prevent infection and pain. It can also minimize the risk of phantom pain. So, it is important to seek medical attention for mycetoma as soon as possible. In some cases, amputation may be the only option if the disease is advanced. Risk and prevention for mycetoma Mycetoma is a serious disease and should be treated early to ensure the best prognosis. Early diagnosis can significantly reduce morbidity and disability. Mycetoma is relatively unknown in many parts of the world, but a 2015 contest run by Global Health Now made the condition more well-known and helped spread awareness of the disease. 
Prevention measures include covering exposed body parts and wearing protective clothing. The disease is generally slow to progress, characterized by a subcutaneous mass and a discharge containing grains. Untreated, it can spread to other parts of the body, including bone and deep structures. It can also result in disability, social discrimination, and even amputation. Because the disease usually progresses slowly, it is often not recognized until it has spread to other parts of the body. It may also lead to secondary bacterial infections, causing increased pain and disability. If left untreated, a second infection can even cause death from blood poisoning. People living in areas with high mycetoma rates should take precautions to avoid barefoot walking. The most common part of the body affected by mycetoma is the foot. The symptoms include localized swelling of tissue, sinus tracts, and the discharge of grains. The grains are comprised of aggregations of the infecting organism and may be white, black, or red depending on the species. Disfigurement is a common complication of mycetoma. Some people may also develop osteomyelitis. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if this was helpful.